Uh, he, he can irritate the establishment. That's his job, to irritate the politicians, irritate the established church. Priests today can no longer control the meaning of life. They are kind of social workers. And they do weddings and funerals and things like that. That's all. Irritate the established business world. Uh, challenge conventional thinking. As a creative genius and ego tripper, this is what I have done as a wizard. I have created heaven and earth in my own image. And if you like it, you can vote for it. It's not true or false, it's just a lovely, created human phenomenon. Can you tell me a little bit about your inner space probe? A uh, great dream of mine to, to produce a model, uh, quite a large one, of an inverted universe. The fact there's no absolute frame in the, for the university is chosen for its convenience, mainly for scientists and businessmen or, and, uh, and military men. Now, if you invert the coordinates we you now use for the heliocentric model of the Earth being a sphere uh, and turn the Earth into a big hole, and the universe goes inside the Earth. Now this makes a wonderful design for a large sphere which could be supported on various ways and people go into, look around at, see all the Earth's surface around them, see the, the centre of the universe in the middle, the new centre, which is not the old centre of the Big Bang. So you get a new centre, a new, tr new, tr new movement of the, of the Sun and planets. Uh, the Earth is newly seen. It's a fresh look at reality, and it's perfectly valid scientific model. But, because what you observe is the same if the Earth is north up or south. That's why I print my south up maps. If the Earth is south up in New Zealand on top, then all the maps are wrong. But of course it isn't south up or north up, it depends on your frame again. But if we did, you see, if we just said, look, the south's up, not not, uh, Europe's underneath, it would look just the same out there. You don't see change here, you, the change is in here, and that's what I call inner space change. You're changing not what you observe, but how you uh, put together the various information and come up with a model, a working model. So it's a very important project. Back on Monday, for another session where I will deal with how I intend to alter the shape of the universe using the internet to outsmart those who control the printing presses. And there are my new world maps and my universe is there too. They are. It's got the universe out New Zealand on top, on one side, and the new universe the other side. The universe inside the earth. It's a new, new model. That's magic, the universe inside the earth. My cosmology embraces all the various theories in science providing a set of absolute structures again, based on choice rather than God or nature. Oh. Beautiful things happen. Yeah. Has, so there's always been that interest in, in the sphere as a form. So to have a, an inner space probe, which probes the, the way that we uh, choose a, re a frame of reference. This is the key thing. Uh, and I enjoy people who take you on, who challenge everything you believe. And because you enjoy people who have a different point of view, Sometimes the public think you're endorsing some of these views, which you don't. So doing it through this, of course you realise this is actually wizardry, all this stuff, because <laughs> you're creating illusions, it is. And, and it's only illusions in the end when it comes down to it, but yours is another view. That's engineering, specifications, yes. so it's yes. much more than that, of course, with mm -hmm. the steel cradles. So that was done, and it's not going to be expensive to do this yeah. part. The hard part is once you've got the sphere up and yes. the belt around it, how do you show the movement? That's right. These planets are so different, mm -hmm. and the galaxies are all moving in towards the middle now. It's all inverted. So the whole thing becomes an exercise in visualization, which has got me stumped. And I said, <laughs> How on earth can you show this? Uh, there's all sorts of political uh, connotations and issues need to be solved when dealing with this kind of um, uh, project in a public arena. Um, and I uh, assisted um, uh, the wizard in presenting the uh, idea of the sculpture to the Christchurch City Council uh, for uh, an installation above the old Christchurch railway station building in Morehouse, Morehouse Avenue. Well, I've seen this before, usual stuff. Very nice, but who's going to put the money out? Sponsorship problem. It depends on the will. Well, still floating around, being kicked around like a football in various places, but until we get the new council settled in, and they are coming in, the new bureaucrats, yeah. I think we'll have to contact a sponsor. My um, experience with good projects is that, although some of them take longer to fund, a good project will eventually be funded.